Blue over brown, two-dimensional, traditional, perfectly functional on bright, clear days, but more challenging at night and during IFR conditions. Imagine this display as a conformal, three-dimensional instrument with a color depiction of the landscape outside. Now you can, with Primus Elite Synthetic Vision. Honeywell's Primus Elite Synthetic Vision adds new levels of sophistication and safety enhancements to your cockpit. Synthetic Vision realistically depicts your flight path as an easy-to-understand overlay on the primary flight display, just as it would appear out the cockpit windscreen, in three dimensions and in color, no more blue over brown. Now imagine electronic charts and an array of other useful information typically carried as bulky printed publications, available for viewing electronically on your MFD display. As the pilot taxis, he can see the aircraft moving across the taxiway on the chart. Note the ease at which a pilot can now identify where the aircraft is on the taxiway, allowing easy confirmation with following the taxi instructions. As we begin our takeoff roll, let's take a look at the enhanced presentations on the PFD and MFD. The runway number is clearly in view on the PFD, and the top horizontal menu shows all modes are properly set up. ILS feathers are shown on the MFD. Rolling down the runway, the pilot senses the rate of movement from the center line marker on the SVS PFD runway. V-bars show where in the PFD display the pilot will pitch to once airborne. Terrain and obstacles are clearly identified on the PFD. The aircraft is coupled to LNAV, confirming automation is following the active flight plan. Further along our flight, there is a TCAS resolution advisory that needs the pilot's attention. The TCAS resolution advisory is displayed on the SVS PFD as well as the MFD. The red goalposts in the center of the PFD provide direct guidance to the crew as to where to pitch the aircraft. In the avoidance area, the V-bars are highlighted red. The fly to region is indicated by a green rectangle. The pilot puts the aircraft into the green rectangle and the V-bars turn green, confirming the aircraft is in the safe zone. If the pilot should continue to climb, as we can see in this scenario, this will put the aircraft into an unusual condition. Sensing this, the PFD array turns to blue over brown, reverting from the SVS display to ensure pilot focus is solely on correcting the maneuver. Red arrows begin to come into view, advising the pilot to descend. As the aircraft descends out of the unusual condition, SVS mode is restored, the red arrows disappear, and the V-bars go green as they enter the fly-to zone once again, once resovers from unusual conditions PFD display returns to SVS. As our flight progresses, the pilots will want to get a depiction of what the weather will be like along their route to see if there are any changes from the forecast. Using the drop-down menu, the pilots can access satellite information, winds, air mets, and sig mets, as well as the turbulence and lightning. A legend is available to help in understanding the display. We can see a storm cell is reported to the northeast and turbulence in the southeast. Both displays on the MFD show there is no weather concern for the aircraft's route of flight. The approach from Flight Plan drop-down menu is selected from the horizontal MFD menu to display a selection of available approach charts. The pilot can select the desired approach from the list. Green highlights on the top of the drop-down menu verify the correct approach. As the aircraft advances on the approach, with both the MFD upper right and PFD lower left showing runway 08 is 4 nautical miles away, we can see on the SVS PFD the cyan outline of the runway coming into view. At this point, we can already see just below the center of the V-bars, a highlighted cyan runway barely coming into view at about 4 nautical miles from the runway. At the last waypoint with Shell, as we pass the last waypoint, the WAS channel is identified on both the PFD and MFD. The co-pilot pulls up the approach chart for the RNAV to runway 08 left. The aircraft is geo-referenced on final for the approach as depicted on the MFD approach chart. On the PFD, the runway can clearly be seen on the approach chart, the missed approach diagram, and instructions are clearly displayed. At approximately one mile out, our target runway 08 left is clearly depicted with a cyan outline, and 08 right can be seen subdued. The aircraft has reached the decision height and can make the landing. Now that you've seen how Primus Elite Synthetic Vision enhances all segments of your flight, are you ready to upgrade from blue over brown to full 3D?